Well, happy Tuesday for a change, everyone, and uh, delighted to have you back, honored to have you here for a little time in God's Word and a chance for me to pray over you. I certainly hope you got a chance to be a part of Sunday's message where I talked about getting in on more of what matters more, and I want to read a passage that takes that a step further because on Sunday, it was really a big reminder through Jesus' parable, who's the owner, you know, God and Jesus, who are the managers, us, and how when we recognize he's the owner, we can enjoy what he puts in our hands, but we're also supposed to leverage it and use it for something that outlasts our lifetime. So here's a verse about that from second, or 1 Corinthians chapter 3. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care. No one should lay a foundation other than what's already been laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, their work will be shown for what it is because the day, and that word day is capitalized, meaning a future day of judgment or what I'll tell you about in a moment, a day of reward for Christians, will bring it to light. It will be revealed by fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. This really is one of the most important passages about getting in on more of what matters more. It's talking about what happens at the end. So again, uh, salvation, this is not about how to get saved. This is about how to set yourself up so in eternity something more happens besides just heaven. And there's a little bit of mystery you know, in scripture about what all these rewards will be and how, how they'll affect us. But Paul is telling us there's something of value that Jesus wants to celebrate over us in the future, that this is something Jesus wants us to do now so that in the future, there's something more that he can actually highlight in our lives, reward us for. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. So we're saved by grace alone. We're not earning our salvation. We're not earning heaven. But And this is written to Christians. But as Christians, we're supposed to live in such a way that we're building we're building the kingdom. And so he's even describing us using the metaphor of us being builders. Our lives are being builders. And how we do it is like different kinds of, of valuable gifts. You know, so good uh, gold, silver, precious stones, or things that just burn up, wood, hay, and stubble. And so this is a reminder, I said Sunday, uh, two kinds of salvation, saved from sin and uh, saved from foolishness. I want to say today, this is another kind of thing like that. Two kinds of salvation, what we're saved from, so sin and foolishness, and then what we're saved for. The way that we leverage our lives for the sake of other people, building God's kingdom, and Jesus then in the future already telling us, I want that to be your story so I can celebrate that more, I can reward you more, you can get in on more. So let that just sink in. Again, a bit of a mystery of all what Jesus is inferring is going to happen in the future, but he's certainly clear, uh, don't be the person that just gets by, gets to heaven when you could be building, you could be reaching, you could be leveraging. I want to pray about that today. So Jesus, thank you for my friends. Thank you that they're leaning in. Thank you for my kingdom builder friends that are tuning in. And perhaps this is their first week also just being reminded of how good you are and the way you want to bless us and the way you want to use us. And so bless the time in our life groups. Bless the time in your word today. And this week, let these thoughts, eternal truth, Lord, sink into our minds, uh, affect our behavior, affect our planning, affect our leveraging, help us to accomplish all that you have for our lives, and let today even be part of that, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.